I'd be lying if I was saying that it wasn't a, a, a very difficult ball game to get over. I mean, we have to get over. We have a game tomorrow morning, basically, to uh, get ready for. But, um, you know, for, for a few minutes right now, this – it, it's, it's not a fun one. It's not an easy one. You know, the ups and downs over the course of a game like that, they, they do take a little something out of you. There, there's no way around that. Um, it, you know, on a night like, like this, I mean, we played two games in a row now like this that, that feel very uh, unsatisfying and you leave kind of pissed off. So, um, but again, you can't, you can't focus on that for too long because we have a game. To get ready for. I know you're not one to make excuses, but obviously last night was draining on the bullpen. You had to rely on those guys again here tonight. How tough is it to put them in that position and again, you know, walk away with a loss? Yeah, I mean, yes, but we have to get outs. I mean, you know, uh, pitching in a major league bullpen is not an easy thing to do. Um, I'm going to be the first one to say that, but, uh, you know, we got to find a way to not give up, you know, a bunch of runs and you know every time we we come back and score some runs um you know we just got to finish out some innings we got we got to finish out some at bats and um we can do that i mean we've certainly done that we've had you know our guys in our bullpen have done a lot of uh good work for us this year and um i think we're just hitting a kind of a, a streak or a skid um with just executing pitches i know you said it stings now but tomorrow are you going to be able to look back on the effort offensively i mean you had some huge hits from some guys and the fact that you guys it was kind of Punch, counter punch, you guys fought the whole way through. Can that be a silver lining? Yeah, you, when you lose a game like this, sometimes it is hard to go back and really start pointing out all the, the good things that happened. I mean, you know, our lineup had a good day today. Um, everywhere you looked, I mean, we had, you know, home runs, hard hit balls, guys getting, you know, safeties, safety squeezes down. I mean, we did a lot and put a lot of runs on the board. Um, so, you know, you can point to that and, see those as positives um you know it's tough for the po the positives never outshine the negatives though when you lose the, the ball game what was um the conversation like when you guys were considering sending emilio back for the second inning and um i guess what were the biggest factors that went into that decision yeah they weren't super long conversations we're going to need our guys to be able to go out there in spots and go do that um it was a three-run game uh, emilio really wanted that uh the ball in that spot and to go out there and pitch the ninth um stuff looked pretty good uh, before yesterday, he hadn't thrown in about a week, too. So it's not like he was um, one of the guys that had, that had thrown a bunch this week. Um, and he was, he was fine to go out there and do that. And he, he gave up two ground balls to start the inning. You know, he gave up a hard hit ball to Naylor. Um, but, you know, one of the balls we probably can make a play on, and we don't. Um, you know, and the other one's a ground ball through the, through the six hole. And um, that's reality. I mean, they put the bat on the ball. They, they found a way to get on base. They found a way to drive him in. And... Um, you know, they're making some stuff happen on the other side of the field when they need it. And, uh, you know, Griffin Jacks came in after, you know, Pagan. Um, and with the number of pitches that he's thrown in the last three days, we wanted to do everything we could to really not pitch him today. Um, only under a circumstance like that was he really going to get in the game. Um, and then we, we had to call on him. What, uh, when you are a little shorthanded, uh, just how much of an impact can it have to – I think there was a late cover on played first, overthrown cutoff man, um, the error in center field where they got 90 feet out of it. How much impact does that have on the game when you're not, you know, you're giving them those extra bases? Yeah, most of the time, if you lose a one run game and there's a small handful of plays that you don't make, you can easily point to those plays. I mean, we certainly didn't play clean baseball. We didn't make all the plays today. Um, you know, there was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot happening. I, it, it's one of those games where you look back and, you know, they happen every so often, but it's hard to even remember all the different stuff that happened. Um, but when you added it all up, um, we didn't we didn't get the job done. So, yeah, we, we, have to, we have to play better baseball, and I think there were a few things that we could look at and uh, – and focus on and do better next time around. Why wasn't that line drive reviewable? It's in front of the umpires. And uh, anything going on um, on a play just like that that's in front of the umpires, uh, you can't review it. And um, you can ask them to look at it. You can ask them to get together, which they did, um, which you, you, know, you appreciate that. But they have to be sure of what they're overturning if they're going to overturn something like that. And no one could get a clean look at it and, and feel good about overturning the play. So there's not a lot you can do about a, a play like that. We know that that is the, the rule and the way that works. Is there like an overwhelming feeling of being upset? You mentioned kind of being pissed off. Or is there some deflation given how close Miranda was in that last game and 
the lead you had in this one? Yeah, there's no one in our clubhouse that's not pissed off right now. So that's fine. I mean, we should be a little pissed off based on, uh, you know, the way uh, we've played over the last couple of days and, you know, just the inability to, to get the job done. Getting the job done ultimately makes everybody feel better and it's something that um, at the end of the games we haven't done. I think we can use that as a little bit of uh, motivation and, and uh, use it to our benefit. What was Buck's status tonight? Um, Buck was, uh, he was wanting to play, but um, he, cu he couldn't uh, move around well enough to play today. And um, I basically have to make the call along with the medical staff on, on something like that. And uh, he had to get uh, some, you know, get looked at by the, by the doc, which is part of something, you know, it's part of what he deals with from time to time. Um, and he was just not going to be available to play based on, my decision, he wasn't going to be able to produce out there based on the way he felt. Is that just common with his knee? I know it's been something he's been playing through, but that some days it can just feel better than others? Or? It's it's part of the ups and downs that he's dealt with. And to be very honest, uh, a lot of those um, days and what he deals with, we're not going to talk about every single detail of what he deals with. Um, it's not easy. And when I tell you he's, uh, you know, he wasn't going to be able to perform today at all, um, he wasn't. So um, I mean that when I say it. And he's a tough guy. And when I say he's a tough guy, I mean he would go out there, um, you know, injured and, and unable to, to play the game at all and give it everything he had. But we can't let him do that. And we couldn't do it today.